Hey guys, there's a little impromptu live. Um, feels like it's been a long time. <laughs> um, and we're going to be playing around with resin today. So, I'm going to be using the um, Stone Coat Countertops Resin. And I'm going to actually do a few different projects. So first we're going to get our, our resin mixed up. Um, I do have this canvas that's I pre-painted black, so it'll be ready to go for one of the projects. And it will dry while I'm mixing up my resin. And, hey Tara, I finally did get a measuring cup. So, <laughs> hey Rebecca. Alright, we're going to be mixing up. equal parts here. So, <laughs> oh hey Blazing Fire, welcome, welcome. Let's see, that plus that equals that. Okay, there we go. All right, so we'll get this all mixed up. And guys, do not forget to hit that like button. We're gonna have some fun today. And happy Friday. I hope everyone has some excellent plans for the weekend. Um, and also next week, super fun, I will be going and doing my friend's countertop, countertops. Oh, hey, Vivian. <laughs> Hey, Annie. Um, yeah, next week I'll be going and doing my friend's countertops with the uh, Stone Coat countertops, actually their countertop resin specifically. So that will be exciting. It is definitely very scary, <laughs> um, but I'm gonna give it a go. Hello from Australia. Yeah, guys, don't forget to hit that like button, please. So I'm gonna get this all good and mixed up in here. And then I'm gonna pour it into my individual, um, individual cups. Hey, Caitlin. <laughs> oh, hey, Michelle from Denmark. <laughs> hey, Art. Hey, Amy. Sorry about that. My internet is sometimes not that great. Oh, hey, from Quebec. Okay. So I'm gonna just mix this a little bit more. And then we'll choose our colors. Um, I definitely wanted to go for like um, a galactic scene here. So it is going to be pretty dark. Hey, Tesla. Um, I'm going to mix up some black. And that's just going to be acrylic paint. And then um, definitely let's do some of this ocean blue metallic mica powder, which is nice and bright. So for anyone who hasn't done the resin yet, uh, you pretty much just do one tenth of the color to however much resin you're going to use. Hey Matthew, glad you and Rebecca can tune in and I'll see you guys again I'm sure at six o'clock. <laughs> um, and then I really like this Tropical Turquoise uh, Mica Powder, also from Stone Coat. So we'll use a little bit of that. And by the way, this is a 10 by 10 gallery wrapped canvas. So we really don't need all that much. Um, yeah, let's go in there with some gold. And then we're going to need some white. Yeah, I love turquoise, too. Although now I'm a little torn because I don't have any pink here. Maybe we won't worry about the pink this time. Okay. I am super close to 100,000, guys. Like, crazy stupid close. It is insane. 
um, <laughs> should be there in hopefully just the next few days. I'm guessing by Monday. It would be excellent if it was faster. Whoops. <laughs> KKN Brown. <laughs> Nobody saw that. All right. Um, so for the white, I'm once again just using acrylic paint. So both the white and black will just be acrylic paint. Um, and yeah, I think we're good. Let's uh, get this all mixed up in here. And then I'm saving some clear because um, I'm going to be coating a, another painting with resin. Someone asked for a demonstration on doing that. So I'm going to give it a go. Okay. Almost good. A little more in the green. And you know, I might have enough here to do another painting as well. We'll see. Maybe like a little eight by 10. Hey, Believe 3.0. Oh, hey, Tina. I don't know if I said hi already, but welcome, welcome. Okay, so these mica powders gotta get mixed up real well. Um, make sure that they don't leave any chunks in there. And that's gonna depend on the mica powder too. Some are a little better easily mixed than others all right so we got our green we got our blue and then we've got gold black and white i think that will do okay and then i do want to just show you i have these over here these are actually little candle holders they go like this and then a little candle goes in it so any leftover resin I have, I'm gonna pour in there because I think that will be awesome. I am not staying cool at all today. I am roasting my butt off. But you know, maybe this is a good weight loss plan. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. All right, let's mix up the black. I don't think I really need that much black because the background's black. Put a little more resin in here. Northern Kentucky is 80 here. It's basically been 100 all week. Um, but like I said, I'm going to be going to a friend's house next week, and she's up near the Bay Area. So unfortunately, they do have a lot of fires right now, but it is a little bit cooler up there. So that will be good. <laughs> Just have to avoid the fires. Minor details. Oh, you're in California too? I thought you just said you were in Northern Kentucky. All right. So we've got everything pretty well mixed up here. I'm gonna put a little more resin in the white and I definitely have, I'm sure, more resin than I need. So that's okay. We may just end up doing a second painting and let's just go for it. I'm going to start with some black. And I've got my heat gun ready over here. Oh, did I get confused? Oh, blazing fires in Kentucky, my bad. Thank you for clarifying that, Tina. I swear I lose like 20 points on my IQ in the heat. Luckily, I have a pretty high IQ, so even with losing 20 points, I'm still pretty smart. <laughs> Whoa, ha, ha. All right, there's a gold. Let's throw some blue in here. And I kind of want to put the white sort of like over everything a bit. Hey, Sarah from the UK. I bet you it's a lot cooler there. Alright, let's do some green. 
Okay. And then we'll go in here with our white. And I wanted to primarily put it in the middle there. Okay, so now we're going to use our heat gun, although we probably don't need it too much because it's 6,000 degrees. Oh, bugger. I forgot that I resined my heat gun shut again. Crud. We may have to forego the heat gun. Let's see. Come on. Yep, okay. Forgo heat gun for now. Oh well. <laughs> Alright, let's torch it a little and then we'll move it around. The torch will help too. It'll heat things up and then uh, be a little softer. Okay. I want to burn it. There we go. I um, believe 3.0 you've tried pouring um, just like regular acrylic pouring. Um, if your pores are coming out muddy, then it's generally that your paint is too thin. So try a little bit less water. Um, it's kind of funny. People generally have one one problem or another. Either they do it too thin or too thick. Um, yeah, generally that's the only time mine come out muddy is if they're too thin. So I'm just going to manually move this around here. Because I'm definitely going for kind of the wispy... Like... You know, northern lights, maybe, kind of look. Let's see. And, then, and I definitely don't want any harsh lines. What happens when they're too thick? Um, when the acrylic pores are too thick, the the paint cracks. So that's no good either. You don't want your paint muddy. You also don't want it cracking, of course. Either way, okay. So this is coming out nice so far, I think. I'm gonna go ahead and torch it again, and then I'm gonna manipulate it a little more. I don't know if you can see, but there's definitely air bubbles in there, which is, um, Affecting how the paint moves around. Hey Gwen. Hey BJ. Hey Alicia. Yeah, there is kind of a fine line between too thick and too thin. But the good thing about it is like once you have it, you have it. You know what I mean? Like once you know you got it, then you just got it. <laughs> like once I finally got my mixture and consistency and everything right, I only had like maybe one or two after that that didn't come out like I wanted to, so. All right. Oh, spicy's in the house. Okay, we're gonna put a little more black in this because it got a little too light. And I am definitely loving that gold. What do you guys think on that gold? I like it. Okay. I like it so much, I'm gonna put a little more in. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, the gold is good. All right, torch one more time here. And then I'm going to move it around again. Okay. If absolutely need be, I do have my hair dryer I can use. 
for those of you who just arrived, um, I had kind of resined my heat gun shut again, so I am unfortunately have not been able to use it, which doesn't help. Okay. <laughs> so guys, I legitimately just dripped sweat into the resin. Um, see how that affects it. What do you guys think? Coming out nice. There is something in the middle here. I'm gonna grab with a paper yeah, toothpick. Yeah, I don't know what that was. <laughs> yeah, I love the metallics too. Okay, so I'm gonna just manipulate a couple more spots here with my hand that I don't want, um, I wanna kinda get rid of some of the lines. Some of them I really like though. So I don't wanna do it too much. I actually like this line that goes through there. So let's go ahead and just move this around a bit more. And we may call it a day on this painting. <laughs> We're gonna be doing a couple more things. All right. Luckily it's so stinking hot in here that I don't think my life is that much affected by not having the heat gun. Because <laughs> the resin is already hot. Okay. So, I ended up moving that around a bit more than in Tish first anticipated, but I really like that. I really, really, really like it. So, what do you guys think? <laughs> You're watching this in your freezer. You know, I have in the last few weeks a couple times actually opened my refrigerator door and just sat in there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Woo. Yeah, let's do a close up. Hey, Charming Giraffe. Hey Kelly, it is super hot. Okay, I'm gonna move the camera for a second. So there's gonna be some shaking, beware. So we can go in for a close up over here. Yeah, this is beautiful. I love that gold in there. And the blue and the green are metallics as well. Um, I'm in Los Angeles. Believe 3.0. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it's not the first time that my heat gun has died. I'll resurrect it later. I just have to take like a chisel and get the dried resin out and it'll work again. <laughs> and I do have my new heat gun. But I have to get a different uh, a different extension cord for it. The extension cord I have doesn't work for it. All right. So let me set this aside safely. I think I have enough. Oh, hey, Mary. <laughs> oh, yay, Amy, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it is like a weather map. You're totally right. Um, so I don't know if you can see, but there are definitely cells developing in here. And in fact, I'm going to actually torch this one more time. <laughs> yeah, it's really hot. So I'm going to torch this one more time and then I'll set it aside. So It's always... You gotta make sure you get rid of all those air bubbles. And the resin will continue to move around. 
a bit. Not as much as necessarily like an acrylic pour, but the colors and whatnot will continue to interact with each other. So that's always exciting to come back the next day and see what it looks like. All right, I think we're good. Yes, always torch. Oh, you're in the San Fernando Valley? You're like probably two blocks from me. That's slightly creepy, okay. Just kidding, just kidding. Um, yeah, I'm in Sunland Tahunga area. So if you want to meet up at some point and do some painting, let me know. There's a girl in Pasadena that wrote me an email and now I just realized I totally forgot to write back. She wanted to paint with me too. Maybe we could get together and have a painting party. All right. Yeah, I like it. I have my ones from yesterday in my drying rack, which is this one with the, the glitter. I don't know if you guys saw that video. Um, it's all dry now. It dried beautifully. I'm going to let it dry a couple more days and resin it, and then I'll post it on my Instagram. So, yeah, paint and wine party. Woo, woo. Oh, you're in Tarzan? Cool. All right. There is a fly plaguing my studio. So I definitely have to cover everything up, little bastard. My spiders are not working. Oh, cool. Mary, uh, sure. Yeah, go ahead and email me. Um, info at thepainterinyou.com. All right, I'm trying to think of what I want to do next here. I have a decent amount of resin left here, but what you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to... I'm going to do the clear coat on the painting that I put somewhere. <laughs> I'm going to do the clear coat on the painting and then, um, then we'll see what, how much resin we have left and we'll do the next one. Oh my goodness. Ridiculous. All right. One second guys. One second. Seriously just have it. And seconds ago. Okay, good. Here it is. <laughs> All right. So I haven't done this before. We're going to give it a go. This is going to be just clear coating this painting with resin um, as basically like a varnish, right? Whoop. Hey, now. Get these little things under here. Okay, good. So I'm just going to put these on here just for the sake of putting the resin on, but to dry, it has to be totally flat and totally covered. So, um, I, did I miss a question? Okay, well I do see, how long can you leave paint with Floetrol in a squeeze bottle? I've left it in there for a month or something. I use a lot of a lot of paint, so my paint does not honestly stay for very long. All right, so we're gonna start here in the middle, and then we're gonna basically just move this around. This is one of the paintings from the live on Monday that I did actually. Um, I'm very excited about this. This is a gorgeous painting. Um, it's got bronze and whatnot in there. And I think that the resin will really just bring it out a lot. So that's what I'm hoping for. Um, yeah, I bought one of those proper tools. Oh, the orange thingies. Yeah, the orange thingies you just get at Lowe's or Home Depot in the painting section. Um, they're real good for holding stuff up. So I bought one of the uh, black actually appropriate moving paint around things. And Lord only knows where I put it. I bought it specifically to do this, and then I put it somewhere real safe, so safe that even I can't find it. So, but you know me, I always improvise. 
Now here's part of the key here. I don't want to waste any resin. So I'm going to basically just take it all to the edge and then I can actually scrape off any extra resin back into the container because I may have put too much. But if I didn't put too much, I'll just leave it on there and that's fine too. So I am taking it to the edge because I do want it to go over, but I'm not like, you know, scraping it all off. And guys, don't judge me on my methods. It'll work. Trust me. <laughs> uh, I posted a video today. It's called Don't Make Excuses. And that applies also to when you can't find your art supplies, the appropriate supplies. You just grab the nearest thing and you make do. Okay. Yeah, I actually don't need to scrape any resin off. There's a perfect amount in there. Okay. Um, the resin takes... Well, it takes like 24 hours to like fully, fully, fully dry. Um, but after, I want to say like 8 to 10 hours or something, it's quite dry. So I'm just going to kind of rub it along the edges here so it'll have a nice thin coat along the edges. And then we do have to definitely torch this. So I'm going to actually grab the camera and I'm going to show you so you can see the air bubbles. All right, so watch out guys, cause it's gonna shake, shake, shake for a second. So I just want everyone to kind of understand. So it's air bubbles. If you don't torch it, they will dry in there just like that. And you'll be so sad, so sad. Yeah, the colors definitely brightened up. I mean, they do when you kind of put anything in there, but uh, like any kind of varnish or gloss on it, but yeah. Um, all right, so, well, there was a question that I missed. Mary, what brand and color is that blue in the big bottle? I could point, blue in the big bottle. I don't know, because I don't know which blue. Was it this blue? I don't think you guys saw that bottle. This is a cup of leftover paint over here, and then this is green. Oh, maybe you're talking about this one. This is green. Uh, it's Blickwick uh, Phthalo Green. Okay, so I'm going to torch it. Um, my travels likely will bring me to North Carolina. I actually have family in North Carolina um, and some in South Carolina, like kind of Holden Beach area. Um, and then my friend from Sal's Fractal Art is in North Carolina. So I think I will probably vacation there soon. I love it. It's a beautiful state. <sighs> yep. All right. Yeah, I don't exactly remember what colors I used in here. Um, I'd have to go back and look at that Monday night video. Oh no, guys, my torch. My torch is dying. It's dying. I need to refill it. That's like the saddest thing in the world. <laughs> Oh, cool. Amy's in North Carolina, too. we got a bunch of people in North Carolina. Okay. Yeah, I will definitely, whenever I'm going to be traveling, I'll notify everyone of my schedule. Mother trucker. All right. Let's see if I can find my... Nope. That's... All right. We're going to do it the old-fashioned way because my torch just decided to die. We're going to take a, a toothpick, and we're going to pop any additional air bubbles. Luckily for me, I already got most of them. So we're going to just pop any additional ones. <laughs> you know, before torches, people had to do this all day. Okay, I think that's quite good. Pretty sure I got most of them. 
I know, mother trucker. Okay. <laughs> yes, I will be definitely coming to New York City. That is on my list. I've never actually been, I've been in New York State a few times, never actually been to the city. So, I keep telling my husband that he needs to take me. Okay. <laughs> they survived your toothpicks. Oh, no. Oh, Mary, I may have missed your question. What was your question? Was it about the paint? Was it about this paint? Because if so, this is a green. <laughs> yeah. You know, I probably have a refill for this around here somewhere. I'm just going to try it one more time. Just for funsies. No, it's out. Okay. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so this is a uh, Blickrick Phthalo Green, actually, on here, Mary. All right, guys, I'm going to move this aside. And now I'm, like, all stressed because I've got all this resin left and no torch. But, like I said, don't make excuses. Okay. We're going to just figure it out. Must not waste Okay, safely drying. All right, now we got all this resin left. Let's have some funsy. So, what I had a thought of doing, hey Rachel, is <laughs> oh, nice Kelly. Yep. Yep, guys, we're going to all get together. All right. So I'm going to pour some clear resin in these guys. And I'm going to do it like um, with the alcohol inks. Can you guys see? Let me zoom in a little. Actually, I'm trying not to get resin <laughs> where I don't want it. I'm going to move this paper aside. Because I don't need it anymore right now. Well, thank you guys for all joining me on a Friday afternoon. Okay. Save this for later. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, you're not too late. We're still going to do another project here. All right. So I don't have a clue how this is going to turn out, guys. But these are candle holders. Let me kind of zoom in real quick. <laughs> you want to meet up in Scotland. All right. Well, Europe is on the travel plans for next year. But... I'm not sure where I'm going. I think I'm going to Ireland and, or no, I'm going to Italy. I don't remember. I think Italy actually. Maybe we could do a Europe meetup. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> oh no. Did you guys miss? Okay. Woo. That's good. All right. I put clear resin in there. Sorry guys. I think we missed that part. Is everyone back? Okay, good. And I just crazy zoomed in. Sorry. All right. So what we're going to do here. <laughs> oh, good. We're going to uh, use our white um, alcohol ink. Okay. And then I really like purple. Shiza. You always make sure that the lid is fully on before you shake it. Or you don't, you know, either way. So we're going to go in here with some purple. And in case anyone missed it, these are candle holders. So I have no idea how this is going to work out. And honestly, I'm not... I haven't tried it with this resin specifically yet, so this will be an interesting experiment. 
I have a lot of these candle holders, so I'm not entirely worried about messing them up. If I do, that's okay. All right, and then we're gonna just go in here with some of this. <laughs> Don't rest in my phone. Some of this, um, this is like a teal. It's called Stream. Okay. All right, is everyone, can everyone hear me? Give me a quick yes. Because I feel like I maybe lost some people still. Oh, good. <laughs> um, okay, good. So these are alcohol inks. Um, I so far used white, purple, and blue. The purple wasn't closed, and then I shook it. So that's something you missed. Um, we put clear resin in these, and these are candle holders. So I'm going in here with a little more clear, just because I can. And then I'm going to go in with a little more ink, and then we're going to leave these alone and hope that they cure properly. Basically, someone that runs like an event company gave me a bunch of these candle holders so I was just looking at them and figured why not play with them <laughs> yeah purple and teal <laughs> yes teacher <laughs> you can call me Miss Marcy okay <laughs> I teach art classes at my daughter's school so all the kids there call me Miss Marcy no matter if I'm teaching there or not. <laughs> All right, um, I think I just wanna put in a couple drops of this pink, and then I think I'm good. <sighs> M-A-R-C-Y is how it's spelled. This is just a really interesting experiment, you know. I'm not gonna stress about it. Either it will come out killer cool or it will come out stupid. <laughs> One or the other is going to happen. And either way, I'm okay with it. All right, so that's basically as good as it gets with those. Just throw a little bit of the last clear. All right. And then I have still these colored resins left, so I'm gonna do just an eight by 10 canvas, and then we're gonna call it a day. Yes, this is definitely a good ink experiment. Close your eyes, I'm zooming out. I don't wanna make anyone dizzy. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and just do a little eight by 10 canvas. Well, that was exciting. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I just moved these around, and that was actually really exciting. <laughs> I'll, I'll, uh, before I sign off, I'll give you guys a close up of the inside of these. But that's exciting. Here, I'm gonna actually bring one around. <laughs> okay. And I have no idea how these are gonna dry, but look at this. When I move it around. So this is like the inside, the candle. It flips over and it goes right here. So I'm hoping to kind of just create a really cool piece there. Yeah, it is fun. Can't go wrong. Well, I'm sure someone could succeed. <laughs> yeah, it is magical. Magical. All right. <gasps> no. Okay, you want to know how hot it is? My white already cured. <gasps> it's hard. No. Oh, man. 
I may not have enough resin to do another piece here. Well, that's interesting. Okay, so I just learned something new, guys. This is Stone Coat Countertops Resin. So I used a particular kind of um, paint in there. And yeah, that totally just like cured so fast. It is, like, can you see that? It's hard, like not even a little bit hard, just like really hard. Yeah, that is crazy. So that is very interesting. I'm gonna let those guys know about that. It may be just something in the paint that's reacting with their resin. Well, bugger. So we don't really have enough resin. That was the most of the resin that I had left. <laughs> All right, so as promised, sorry guys, as promised, I'll do a close up inside these candle things. And then I think we're gonna have to call it a day. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. That is really a bummer. That's definitely interesting. All right. Yeah, very hot. Okay, so give me a second. I'm going to move. <laughs> Can you heat it up? I don't really want to try. I prefer not to burn down my garage today. I almost did the other day with my new heat gun. It got so hot, I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, I could, um, I just don't have any more that I've cleaned out. And uh, these, like I said, she, my friend gave these to me, so they still have like dried candle resin in them. Anyways, but yeah, these are cool. If they dry well, they're gonna come out super killer, I think. Anywho, okay. So I guess we're done for today. We did one resin pour. We did the clear coat on the painting, um, the acrylic pour. And then we did these funky candle holder things. No, I don't want to pour that out. It would be pretty, but I don't want to. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys for joining me. And um, if I don't say hi before, then we'll see you Monday. But I'm kind of hoping to maybe hit that 100,000 mark before then. If so, um, like when I get about 30 away, I don't care if it's the middle of the night, um, I'm going to do like a countdown video. I'm going to get some poppers and everything, maybe some champagne, and it'll just be a party. So hopefully you guys can join me then. It's going to be so exciting. Yeah, tomorrow, <laughs> Miss Marcy, tomorrow I'll do a video and I'll show you guys all the dried things. <laughs> all right, bye guys. Have a fantastic rest of your weekend. Yes, it will be a live, live party countdown for the 100K. So, <sighs> why doesn't anyone ever listen to me? <laughs> um, I'm sure somebody somewhere does. And normally I take a lot of suggestions. <laughs> all right, bye guys.